Hello YouTube and welcome to Fix the Simon channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a silent bladeless fan. Okay guys, here's what we need. A soldering gun, plastic glue gun, 12 volt PC fan, compass, on off switch, and I've got over here a female adapter connection, and I have over here the universal adapter and this one fits in here a cutter and a ruler and finally a craft board like this one so first we're gonna start by making the base so I'm gonna put the lines like this Alright, so as you see over here, I've got my four squares, that's going to be the box for my fan. But before we do the box, we have to make sure from our wiring over here, it's very very simple and basic. What we have here is the adapter plug and the on-off switch. So what I've done over here, the red wire that's coming from the fan, I plugged it to the on-off switch and I brought another wire from the on-off switch to the adapter connection. And the black wire that's coming from the fan is going directly to the adapter plug. So now it's time to test it and make sure that our switch and wiring working properly. There you go, as you see, it's working. And everything is perfect. Okay, so now it's time to make the box. Now the next step is to make holes for our adapter plug and the on-off switch. working perfectly and it's silent now it's time to go for the next step okay so now it's time to make two six inch circles I have the two squares over here I'm gonna start with the first one and now we're gonna make another circle of five inch Now we're going to use the cutter and cut the circles. And now we're going to cut the second circle. And now we're going to make the second circle. So again, it's going to be six inch. Now the inner circle is going to be four and a half inch. As you see guys, they are both six inch, the external circles and the inner circles. This one is four and a half inch by five inch. Okay, so now the next step is to align the circle on the box. And we're going to do the same thing for the second circle.
Okay, so as you see over here, I have a 5 inch by 29 inch size plastic, like this, bendable, you can bend. You can use any cheap cardboard instead, but I'll be using this. To install it, it's pretty simple. This one is a 6 inch uh, size circle, so it's easy to install. Just do this and put it in here. Lift it up to the middle and simply make sure you widen the circle from the inside and you make sure there's no gaps like this so now I'm gonna put some plastic glue And make sure that the lines here they are perfect and now for the next step we're gonna lower the circle and we're simply gonna put plastic glue around the circle So that's how it's supposed to look like. And for the second circle, we're going to be using 5 inch by 32 inch. So we're going to do the same thing as we did for the first one. As you guys can see, that's the shape that we have right now. And this is how they're going to be installed basically like this and this is where the air is gonna come out from so basically all what's left to do is to install our box like this As you see guys, I've cut some parts over here and I've installed them like this to solidify the structure and at the same time I made it 6 inch all over. So once I put my cover over here, it's going to be 6 inch. At the same time, if you take a look at the circle, it's centered. So that's exactly what we want as results. Okay guys, so this is the final piece to be installed. I've cut 6 inch by 32 inch and at the same time I bent half an inch from each side from that one and from this side also. So to install it it's pretty simple. Just gonna put that one like this and then go all around by using the plastic glue till I got this result. Okay guys, so what's left to do now is to make cuts over here. This way we're gonna let the air go through here and come out from here. It's very important to make openings over here all around the base. So like that we'll have a good air circulation. Okay guys, so as you see this is the final result. That's my PC fan. So now we're gonna check it out.
So there you go guys, as you see it's working perfectly, it's really silent and smooth. So what's nice about this project, you can even paint it later, the color that you want, and it works perfectly. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe under Fix It Samo one word, and we will see you next time.